with the Festival of Unity concluding on a high note, Arya and the outcasts felt a deep sense of accomplishment. Yet, amid the celebrations, they were reminded that their journey was far from over. The prophecy that had guided and haunted them since the beginning still loomed large, and they knew they needed to fully understand it to ensure the future they envisioned. One afternoon, Kellen approached Arya with a discovery he had made while studying the ancient manuscripts. Arya, I believe I've found something important. There are references to an ancient prophecy hidden within a sacred text known as the Scroll of Dracara. This scroll might hold the key to understanding the full scope of the prophecy and how we can fulfill it. Arya felt a surge of excitement and apprehension. Where can we find this scroll of Dracara? Kellen replied. According to the texts, the scroll is kept in the Sanctum of Elders, an ancient and revered place deep within the Dragonborn territories. It's a journey fraught with challenges, but if we can retrieve the scroll, it might provide the answers we seek. Thorn, ever the protector, stepped forward. Then we need to prepare for this journey. The Sanctum of Elders will not be easy to reach, and we must be ready for whatever dangers await us. Lyra nodded, her eyes filled with determination. I'll gather the necessary supplies and ensure we have enough healing potions and herbs. We'll need to be at our best. Marek, with his pragmatic approach, added, I'll use my contacts to gather information about the terrain and any potential threats. We need to know what we're walking into. The group set about making their preparations, each member contributing their unique skills and knowledge. As they geared up for the journey, Arya couldn't help but feel a sense of urgency. The prophecy had been a guiding force in their mission, and uncovering its full meaning was crucial to ensuring their success. A few days later, the outcasts set out from Drakenvale, their destination, the Sanctum of Elders. The path led them through dense forests, over rocky mountains, and across treacherous rivers. Each step brought them closer to their goal, but also tested their endurance and resolve. As they ventured deeper into the Dragonborn territories, the landscape became more rugged and awe-inspiring. Towering cliffs, ancient trees, and mystical creatures filled their journey with both wonder and danger. Despite the challenges, the group pressed on, driven by their shared purpose. One evening, as they set up camp in a sheltered valley, Kellen shared more about the Scroll of Dracara. The scroll is said to contain not just the prophecy, but also the wisdom and knowledge of the ancient dragonborn. It's a revered text, guarded by the elders who have dedicated their lives to preserving its secrets. Arya nodded, feeling a deep sense of reverence. We must approach this mission with respect and humility. The elders are the keepers of our history and traditions. We need their guidance to understand the prophecy. The next morning, they continued their journey, eventually reaching the base of a towering mountain. At its peak, hidden among the clouds, was the Sanctum of Elders. The path up the mountain was steep and treacherous, but they were determined to reach the summit. As they climbed, they encountered various obstacles, rock slides, narrow ledges, and powerful winds. Thorn and Marek led the way, ensuring the group's safety, while Lyra and Kellen provided support and encouragement. After a grueling ascent, they finally reached the entrance to the Sanctum of Elders. The ancient stone doorway was adorned with intricate carvings and symbols, reflecting the deep history and wisdom of the Dragonborn. Arya took a deep breath and stepped forward, her heart filled with anticipation. We're here. Now we must seek the guidance of the Elders and uncover the truth of the prophecy. The group enter, ed the Sanctum, their footsteps echoing in the vast, dimly lit hall. The air was thick with the scent of incense and the presence of ancient magic. As they approached the central chamber, they were greeted by a group of venerable dragonborn elders, their eyes reflecting centuries of knowledge and wisdom. One of the elders, a wise and serene figure named Elder Varric, stepped forward. Welcome, travelers. We have been expecting you. You seek the scroll of Dracara, do you not? Arya nodded, her voice respectful. Yes, Elder Varric. We seek to understand the prophecy and how we can fulfill it to ensure a future of peace and unity. Elder Varric regarded them thoughtfully. The prophecy is both a guide and a warning. It speaks of great trials and the potential for both harmony and destruction. To understand it fully, you must open your hearts and minds to the wisdom of the ancients. 
The elders led the group to a grand chamber where the scroll of Drakara was kept. The scroll, housed in a beautifully crafted case, emanated a soft, ethereal glow. As they approached, Arya felt a deep connection to the ancient text, as if it was calling out to her. Elder Varek gestured for Arya to step forward. You, Arya, have been chosen by the heart of the dragon. The scroll will reveal its secrets to you, but you must be prepared for what you will learn. With a deep breath, Arya reached out and touched the scroll. As her fingers brushed against its surface, a surge of energy coursed through her, and her vision blurred. She found herself in a realm of swirling light and shadow, where the boundaries of time and space seemed to dissolve. In this ethereal space, the prophecy unfolded before her eyes. She saw visions of great battles, moments of triumph and despair, and the faces of those who would shape the future. She saw the potential for a world united in peace, but also the dangers that could lead to its downfall. As the visions faded, Arya felt a profound understanding settle within her. The prophecy was not a fixed path, but a series of possibilities shaped by their actions and choices. The future was in their hands, and they had the power to steer it towards harmony or chaos. When she returned to the present, Arya shared her experience with the group. The prophecy is a guide, but it's also a warning. We have the power to shape our destiny, but we must act with wisdom and unity. The future we envision is possible, but we must be vigilant and steadfast. Elder Varek nodded approvingly. You have understood the essence of the prophecy. Remember, the strength of your bond and your commitment to peace will determine the path you walk. Go forth with the knowledge you have gained, and may the wisdom of the ancients guide you. With the scroll of Drakara's secrets revealed, the group felt a renewed sense of purpose. They thanked the elders for their guidance and began their journey back to Drakenvale, their hearts filled with determination and hope. As they descended the mountain and made their way home, Arya reflected on the journey they had undertaken. The prophecy had provided them with clarity and direction, but it was up to them to ensure that their vision of a united future became a reality. With their bond stronger than ever and their mission clear, Arya and the outcasts were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. United in their purpose and driven by hope, they knew that together they could shape a future where humans and dragonborn could coexist in harmony fulfilling the prophecy, and building a lasting peace for all. Returning to Drakenvale with the knowledge from the scroll of Drakara, Arya and the outcasts felt a renewed sense of purpose. The prophecy had given them clarity, but it had also highlighted the challenges they would face in achieving their vision. They knew they had to act decisively to protect their future. Back in their safe house, Arya gathered the group to discuss their N, X steps, the prophecy has shown us both the potential for unity and the dangers that lie ahead. We need to be prepared for any challenges and ensure we follow the path of harmony. Thorn, ever the protector, agreed. We need to fortify our defenses and be vigilant. The knowledge we've gained makes us a target, and we must be ready. Lyra, her eyes filled with concern, added, and we must continue to build trust and cooperation within our communities. Unity is our greatest strength. Kellen, always the scholar, proposed, we should revisit the ancient texts and the heart of the dragon. There may be more to learn that can guide us in these crucial times. Marek, pragmatic as ever, said, I'll work on gathering intelligence. If there are any threats or plots against us, we need to know. As they planned their next moves, a messenger arrived with an urgent message from Lady Seraphine. The note read, Come to the council chambers immediately we have received troubling news that requires your attention. The outcasts hurried to the council chambers, where Lady Seraphine, Captain Alaric, and other council members were gathered. The atmosphere was tense, and it was clear that something serious had happened. Lady Seraphine spoke first, her voice steady but filled with concern. We have received reports of a powerful being known as the Guardian of Shadows. It is said to be an ancient entity, awakened by the disturbances caused by the heart of the dragon. The Guardian is tasked with ensuring the balance of power and is now seeking the heart to restore equilibrium, as it believes the heart's power is being misused. Captain Alaric added, The Guardian of Shadows is a formidable force, capable of immense destruction. If it reaches Drakenvale, 
it could cause untold damage and undermine everything we've worked for. Arya felt a chill run down her spine. We must find a way to stop the Guardian and protect the heart. How do we confront such a powerful entity? Lady Seraphine replied. According to the ancient texts, the Guardian can only be defeated by someone who embodies the true spirit of the prophecy, someone who is committed to unity and peace. You, Arya, are the chosen one, but you will need the support of your friends and allies. Thorn stepped forward, his voice firm. We'll stand with you, Arya. We've faced many challenges together, and we'll face this one too. Lyra nodded, her eyes filled with determination. We'll do whatever it takes to protect the heart and our future. Kellen, his scholarly mind racing, suggested, we should seek out the wisdom of the elders. They may have knowledge or artifacts that can help us in this battle. Marek, always practical, said, and we need to prepare the city. If the Guardian reaches us, we must be ready to defend our people. With their plan set, the outcasts and their allies began their preparations. Arya and Kellen returned to the Sanctum of Elders, seeking guidance and any artifacts that could aid them in the upcoming confrontation. The Elders, understanding the gravity of the situation, provided them with an ancient relic known as the Light of Unity, a powerful artifact said to amplify the strength of those who fight for peace and harmony. Elder Varric explained, the Light of Unity will help you harness the full potential of the heart of the dragon. Use it wisely, and remember that your bond with your friends is your greatest strength. Arya and Kellen thanked the elders and returned to Drakenvale, where Thorn, Lyra, and Marek had been preparing the city's defenses and rallying their allies. The atmosphere was tense but resolute, as everyone understood the importance of the upcoming battle. As the day of the confrontation approached, the sky darkened, and an ominous silence settled over Drakenvale. The Guardian of Shadows was near, and its presence was felt by all. The outcasts stood together in the central plaza, the heart of the Ver, a dragon and the light of unity before them. Arya addressed the gathered crowd, her voice strong and unwavering. We face a great challenge, but we are united. The Guardian of Shadows seeks to disrupt the balance, but we will stand firm. Together, we will protect our future and ensure that the vision of peace and unity becomes a reality. As she finished speaking, a shadowy figure appeared on the horizon, growing larger and more menacing as it approached. The Guardian of Shadows had arrived, its form shifting and pulsating with dark energy. Thorn, his sword at the ready, looked at Arya. We're with you, Arya. Let's do this. Arya nodded, feeling the power of the heart and the light of unity coursing through her. Together, we will face the Guardian and protect our future. The battle began, a clash of light and shadow that shook the very foundations of Drakenvale. The Guardian of Shadows unleashed powerful attacks, but Arya and her friends countered with their combined strength and determination. Lyra's healing magic kept them strong, while Marek's strategic mind ensured they stayed one step ahead. Kellen's knowledge and wisdom guided their actions, and Thorn's unyielding bravery provided the strength they needed to push forward. As the battle raged on, the Light of Unity amplified their efforts, creating a radiant shield that repelled the Guardian's dark energy. Arya, standing at the center, channeled the power of the heart, her resolve unwavering. We fight for unity, for peace, for our future, she cried, unleashing a wave of energy that surged towards the Guardian. The Guardian, sensing the strength of their unity, began to falter. With a final, desperate effort, it unleashed its most powerful attack, but the combined might of the outcasts and their allies overwhelmed it. As the Guardian's form dissolved into shadows, a sense of calm and light filled the air. The threat had been vanquished, and the balance restored. Arya, her energy spent, but her spirit unbroken, looked at her friends. We did it. Together, we protected our future. The crowd erupted in cheers, their voices echoing through the city. The outcasts had faced their greatest challenge and emerged victorious, their bond stronger than ever. As the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, Arya felt a deep sense of fulfillment and determination. The prophecy had guided them, but it was their unity and strength that had ensured their victory. With the heart of the dragon and the light of unity safely secured, and their alliance stronger than ever, Arya and the outcasts knew that they could face any challenge that lay ahead. United in their mission, and driven by hope, 
They were ready to build a future where humans and dragonborn could coexist in harmony, fulfilling the prophecy and ensuring a lasting peace for all. Following their victory over the Guardian of Shadows, Arya and the outcasts returned to a city brimming with hope and relief. The battle had tested their resolve and strength, but it also reinforced the bond between humans and Dragonborn. However, they knew that the prophecy's fulfillment was an ongoing journey, not a single event. To truly secure their future, they needed to understand the full legacy of the Ancients and ensure the stability of their newfound peace. One evening, as the outcasts gathered in their safe house, Kellen brought forth an idea that had been forming in his mind. In our studies of the ancient manuscripts, we've only scratched the surface of the knowledge left by our ancestors. I believe there is more to discover, wisdom, and artifacts that could further guide us. Arya nodded thoughtfully. The scroll of Drakara and the heart of the dragon have been pivotal. If there are more relics or texts, they could provide invaluable insights. Lyra, her eyes reflecting her innate compassion, added, and they might hold the key to healing the remaining rifts in our society. We've made G, Riat strides, but there's still work to be done. Thorn, ever the protector, agreed, we'll need to be careful. The journey to find these relics will likely be dangerous, and others might seek their power for less noble purposes. Marek, always pragmatic, said, I'll use my contacts to gather information on any known locations of ancient sites. We'll need to plan this carefully. As they formulated their plan, a message arrived from Lady Seraphine. She had received reports of an ancient dragonborn temple deep in the heart of an uncharted forest, rumored to hold relics and knowledge from the time of the prophecy. It was said to be guarded by powerful enchantments and creatures, making it a perilous venture. Determined to uncover the temple's secrets, the outcasts set out on their new journey. The forest they ventured into was dense and wild, filled with towering trees, winding paths, and an aura of ancient magic. Every step deeper into the forest felt like a step back in time. Their path was fraught with challenges. They encountered enchanted creatures, treacherous terrain, and magical traps designed to deter intruders. But their determination and unity saw them through each obstacle. Thorn's combat skills and Marek's strategic thinking kept them safe, while Lyra's healing magic and Kellen's knowledge helped them navigate the forest's dangers. After several days of travel, they finally reached the temple, a magnificent structure carved into the side of a mountain, overgrown with vines and surrounded by an aura of ancient power. The temple's entrance was adorned with intricate carvings depicting the history and legends of the Dragonborn. As they approached, Arya felt a deep sense of reverence and anticipation. This temple holds the legacy of our ancestors. We must approach it with respect and an open heart. Inside, the temple was a labyrinth of corridors and chambers, each filled with relics and inscriptions. The air was thick with the scent of ancient incense, and the faint glow of magical light illuminated their path. They moved carefully, studying the inscriptions and artifacts, piecing together the history and wisdom left by the ancients. In the heart of the temple, they found a grand chamber that housed a large, intricately carved stone pedestal. Upon the pedestal rested an ancient tome bound in dragonhide and adorned with glowing runes. This tome, known as the Codex of Drakara, was said to contain the complete history and teachings of the Dragonborn, as well as prophecies that extended beyond what they had already uncovered. Kellen approached the tome with awe. This is it, the Codex of Drakara. Its knowledge could be the key to securing our future. Arya carefully opened the tome, feeling the weight of its significance. As she read, visions of the past, present, and future filled her mind. The Codex spoke of the Dragonborn's origins, their struggles and triumphs, and the enduring legacy they were meant to uphold. It also detailed rituals and practices that could help maintain the balance between humans and Dragonborn ensuring lasting peace and unity. One of the passages in the Codex caught her attention. It spoke of an ancient ritual known as the Rite of Unification, designed to bind the fates of humans and Dragonborn together, strengthening their bond and ensuring mutual prosperity. This ritual required the combined efforts of both communities and the blessing of the heart of the dragon. Arya shared her findings with the group. 
The right of unification could be the key to solidifying our alliance and ensuring the prophecy's positive outcome but it will require the commitment and cooperation of both humans and Dragonborn. Lyra, her eyes filled with hope, said, We've already seen what we can achieve together. This ritual could help heal any remaining divisions and strengthen our bond. Thorn, ever the realist, added, We'll need to ensure that everyone understands the importance of this ritual and is willing to participate. It won't be easy, but it's worth it. Marek nodded. I'll work on gathering support and spreading the word. We need to make sure everyone is on board. Kellen, his mind always seeking knowledge, said, I'll continue to study the Codex and ensure we perform the ritual correctly. We can't afford any mistakes. With their plan set, the outcasts returned to Drakenvale, the Codex of Drakara in their possession. They convened a council meeting, sharing their discoveries and the importance of the Rite of Unification. The council members listened intently, their expressions reflecting a mix of awe and determination. Lady Seraphine spoke first. This ritual is a remarkable opportunity to strengthen our alliance and ensure a prosperous future. We must commit to it fully. Captain Alaric added, We'll need to coordinate efforts across the city and ensure that everyone understands the significance of the ritual. It's a monumental task, but I believe we can do it. The council members agreed, and preparations for the rite of unification began. The ritual required gathering at the central plaza, where the heart of the dragon would be placed on a ceremonial altar. Representatives from both communities would participate in the ritual, symbolizing their commitment to unity and cooperation. As the day of the ritual approached, the city buzzed with anticipation. People from all walks of life came together, their hearts filled with hope and determination. The central plaza was adorned with symbols and decorations representing both humans and dragonborn, a testament to their shared vision. On the day of the ritual, Arya stood before the gathered crowd, her voice strong and unwavering. Today, we come together to perform the rite of unification. This ritual is a testament to our commitment to unity and our shared future. Together, we will ensure that the prophecy's promise of peace and harmony becomes a reality. The crowd erupted in cheers, their voices echoing through the city. As the ritual began, representatives from both communities stepped forward, each placing their hands on the heart of the dragon. The air was filled with a sense of anticipation and reverence as they chanted the ancient words, guided by the wisdom of the Codex. As the ritual reached its climax, a radiant light emanated from the heart, enveloping the participants and the gathered crowd. The light symbolized their unity, their shared vision, and their commitment to a future of peace and harmony. When the light faded, a profound sense of calm and connection filled the air. The rite of unification had been successful, and its effects were felt by all. The bond between humans and Dragonborn was stronger than ever, and the future they had worked so hard to build was now within reach. Arya, her heart filled with pride and hope, addressed the crowd once more. Today, we have taken a monumental step towards fulfilling the prophecy and ensuring a future of unity and peace. Our journey is far from over, but together, we can achieve anything. The crowd erupted in cheers once more, their voices a powerful chorus of hope and determination. As they celebrated their achievement, Arya and the outcasts knew that their mission was not yet complete, but they had taken a significant step towards securing the future they envisioned. With the heart of the dragon and the Codex of Drakara guiding them, and their bond stronger than ever, Arya and the outcasts were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. United in their mission and driven by hope, they knew that together they could build a future where humans and dragonborn could coexist in harmony, fulfilling the prophecy and ensuring lasting peace for all. The successful completion of the Rite of Unification filled Drakenvale with a renewed sense of hope and unity. However, Arya and the outcasts knew that maintaining this harmony required ongoing effort and vigilance. The rite had strengthened their bond, but the prophecy also warned of trials that could still threaten their hard-won peace. One evening, as the outcasts gathered in their safe house, Kellen shared his concerns. The Codex of Drakara mentions a test of faith that follows the rite of unification. It's a series of trials designed to test our commitment to unity and the principles we stand for. 
Arya nodded, her expression serious. We've come so far, but we must be ready to face these trials. The future we want depends on our ability to overcome them. Thorn, ever the protector, added, we need to prepare ourselves and our allies. If these trials test our faith, then our unity and resolve must be unshakable. Lyra, her gentle eyes filled with determination, said, I'll focus on ensuring everyone's well-being. These trials might challenge us physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Marek, with his pragmatic approach, added, I'll gather intelligence on what these trials might entail. The more we know, the better prepared we'll be. As they planned their next steps, a messenger arrived from Lady Seraphine. She had received reports of strange occurrences in the city, natural phenomena and unexplained events that seemed to be the precursors to the test of faith. The council called an emergency meeting to discuss these developments and how to address them. At the council meeting, Lady Seraphine spoke first. We've received reports of sudden storms, unusual seismic activity, and strange visions among our people. These events coincide with the completion of the Rite of Unification and match the descriptions of the trials mentioned in the Codex of Dracara. Captain Alaric added, Our forces are on high alert, but we need to approach this carefully. Panic could undermine the unity we've worked so hard to build. Arya addressed the council, her voice steady. We must face these trials with courage and resolve. We'll need to work together, support each other, and stay true to our principles. These tests are a chance to prove our commitment to the future we envision. The council members agreed, and preparations began to address the emerging trials. They established communication networks to keep the public informed and coordinated efforts to respond to any crises that might arise. The outcasts took the lead, their bond and determination serving as a beacon of hope for the people of Drakenvale. The first trial came in the form of a powerful storm that swept through the city, bringing torrential rain, fierce winds, and lightning. The storm caused widespread damage, but the people of Drakenvale, guided by the outcasts, rallied together to protect their city. Thorn and Marek organized teams to reinforce buildings, clear debris, and ensure the safety of the citizens. Lyra and other healers tended to the injured, providing medical care and emotional support. Arya and Kellen coordinated efforts from the central plaza, using their knowledge and magic to mitigate the storm's effects. As the storm raged on, Arya felt a deep connection to the heart of the dragon, its power amplifying her own. She stood in the plaza, her arms raised, and called upon the heart to help calm the storm. A radiant light emanated from her, spreading outwards and enveloping the city. The storm began to subside, its fury diminishing as the light of unity and hope prevailed. The storm eventually passed, leaving Drakenvale battered but not broken. The people had faced the first trial with courage and unity, their bond stronger than ever. As they began the process of recovery, Arya knew that more trials were to come. The next trial took the form of a series of earthquakes that shook the city to its core. Buildings trembled, and the ground cracked. But the people of Drakenvale, under the guidance of the outcasts, responded with resilience and determination. Thorn and Marek led efforts to stabilize structures and evacuate those in danger, while Lyra and the healers provided care for the injured. Kellen used his knowledge of ancient texts to predict aftershocks and guide the response efforts. Arya, once again calling upon the heart of the dragon, focused her energy on calming the seismic activity. As the earthquakes subsided, the people of Draconvale came together to rebuild and support one another. Their unity was tested, but their resolve remained unbroken. The test of faith was challenging them in ways they had never imagined, but each trial strengthened their commitment to their vision. The final trial came in the form of visions that affected both humans and Dragonborn. People experienced vivid dreams and hallucinations that stirred fear and uncertainty. These visions revealed their deepest fears and doubts, threatening to undermine the unity they had fought so hard to achieve. Arya gathered the outcasts and the council to address this trial. These visions are testing our faith in each other and our shared future. We must confront our fears and support each other through this challenge. Lyra, her voice calm and soothing, said, We need to create safe spaces where people can share their experiences and find support. 
Understanding and compassion will help us overcome this trial. Marek added, I'll work on identifying patterns in the visions. If we can understand their source, we might be able to mitigate their effects. Kellen, always the scholar, suggested, we should use the Codex of Drakara to guide us. It might contain wisdom on how to navigate these visions and maintain our unity. The outcasts and their allies established support groups and forums where people could share their visions and receive guidance. They used the Codex of Drakara to find rituals and practices that could help calm the mind and strengthen their resolve. As the visions persisted, Arya led a series of communal ceremonies where people came together to share their experiences and reaffirm their commitment to unity. These ceremonies, guided by the wisdom of the Codex and the power of the Heart of the Dragon, helped alleviate fear and strengthen the bonds within the community. One evening, as the final communal ceremony reached its climax, Arya addressed the gathered crowd. We have faced the test of faith with courage and unity. Our fears and doubts have been revealed, but we have confronted them together. Our bond is stronger for it, and our commitment to our shared future is unshakable. The crowd erupted in cheers, their voices echoing through the night. The test of faith had challenged them in profound ways, but they had emerged stronger and more united. The prophecy's trials had been met with determination and resilience, proving their commitment to the vision they held. As the first light of dawn broke over Drakenvale, Arya and the outcasts stood together, their hearts filled with pride and hope. The trials had tested their faith, but they had proven their resolve. The future they envisioned was within reach, and they were ready to continue building a world where humans and dragonborn could coexist in harmony. With the heart of the dragon and the Codex of Drakara guiding them, and their bond stronger than ever, Arya and the outcasts knew that they could face any challenge that lay ahead. United in their mission, and driven by hope, they were ready to fulfill the prophecy and ensure lasting peace for all. Having faced and overcome the test of faith, the people of Drakenvale felt a renewed sense of strength and unity. The bond between humans and Dragonborn had been tested and proven resilient. Yet, Arya and the outcasts knew that the prophecy's ultimate test was still to come, a final confrontation that would determine the fate of their united future. One evening, as the outcasts convened in their safe house, Marek brought unsettling news. I've received reports from our scouts. A dark force is gathering on the outskirts of Drakenvale. It appears that remnants of the Shadowscale Syndicate, bolstered by other dissenters who oppose our unity, are preparing for an assault. Thorn's expression hardened. They're making their final move. We need to be ready for them. Arya felt a deep resolve. This is it, the final stand. We must defend our city and the future we've worked so hard to build. We need to rally our allies and prepare for battle. Lyra, ever the healer, added, I'll prepare the infirmary and gather all available healers. We'll need to be ready to treat the wounded and support our fighters. Kellen, his scholarly mind racing, suggested, we should also use the Codex of Drakara and the Heart of the Dragon to strengthen our defenses. There may be rituals and spells that can give us an advantage. The outcasts and their allies worked tirelessly to prepare for the impending battle. Lady Seraphine and Captain Alaric coordinated with the council to mobilize the city's defenses. Barricades were erected and strategic positions were established throughout Draconvale. Volunteers from both communities stepped forward, ready to defend their home. As the day of the battle approached, Arya and Kellen studied the Codex of Drakara for any guidance on the upcoming confrontation. They found references to a powerful protective spell that could be cast using the heart of the dragon. This spell, known as the Shield of Unity, would create a barrier around the city, bolstering their defenses and protecting them from dark magic. Arya gathered the outcasts and their key allies in the central plaza, where the heart of the dragon was placed on a ceremonial altar. We will cast the Shield of Unity to protect Drakenvale and give us a fighting chance. Our unity is our greatest strength, and we will face this challenge together. As they chanted the ancient words and focused their energies, the heart of the dragon glowed brightly, and a shimmering barrier began to form around the city. The shield of unity was a testament to their bond and their commitment to a shared future. 
The night before the battle, Arya addressed the gathered defenders. Tomorrow, we face our greatest challenge, but we do so united with courage and determination. We fight not just for ourselves, but for the future of our children and generations to come. Stand strong, and remember that we are one. As dawn broke, the dark forces gathered outside the city's walls. The remnants of the Shadowscale Syndicate, led by a fierce and determined leader named Kale, were bolstered by mercenaries and other dissenters who sought to undermine the unity of Drakenvale. The battle began with a thunderous clash as the dark forces attacked the city's defences. The Shield of Unity held strong, repelling the initial assault and giving the defenders a crucial advantage. Thorn, Marek, and the city's warriors fought valiantly, their resolve unyielding. Arya, standing at the forefront, channeled the power of the Heart of the Dragon, unleashing waves of energy that bolstered their defences and pushed back the attackers. Lyra and the healers moved through the battlefield, tending to the wounded and providing support. Kellen used his knowledge and strategic mind to direct the defenders, ensuring that they remained coordinated and focused. His insights from the Codex of Drakara proved invaluable, guiding their actions and helping them anticipate the enemy's moves. Despite their strength and unity, the battle was fierce and unforgiving. Kale, the leader of the Dark Forces, was a formidable opponent, wielding dark magic and rallying his troops with ruthless determination. As the battle raged on, it became clear that the final confrontation would be between Arya and Kale. The two leaders faced each other in the heart of the battlefield, their forces clashing around them. Kale sneered, his eyes filled with malice. You think your unity can save you? I, we, will destroy everything you've built. Arya's gaze was unwavering. We fight for a future of peace and harmony. Your darkness has no place here. The duel between Arya and Kale was a clash of light and shadow, each attack shaking the ground and illuminating the sky. Arya called upon the full power of the Heart of the Dragon, its light shining brighter than ever. As their battle reached its climax, Arya focused all her energy into a final, decisive strike. The Heart of the Dragon pulsed with a radiant glow, and a beam of pure light surged towards Kale, enveloping him and dissipating his dark magic. With a final cry, Kale was defeated, his forces scattering in disarray. The defenders of Drakenvale, inspired by Arya's victory, rallied, and pushed back the remaining attackers. The dark forces, leaderless and demoralized, were soon defeated. The city erupted in cheers as the battle ended, their unity and strength having triumphed over the forces of darkness. Arya, exhausted but victorious, stood with her friends and allies in the central plaza. The shield of unity shimmered around them, a testament to their bond and their determination. We did it, Arya said, her voice filled with emotion. Together, we have protected our home and secured our future. Thorn, his expression softened with pride, nodded. We've proven that our unity is our greatest strength. We can face any challenge together. Lyra, her eyes filled with hope, added, Our bond has been tested and strengthened. The future we envision is within our grasp. Marek, ever pragmatic, said, We'll continue to protect what we've built and ensure that our vision remains strong. Kellen, his scholarly mind always seeking knowledge, added, The heart of the dragon and the Codex of Drakara will guide us. We must continue to learn and grow together. As they looked out over the city of Drakenval, the lights twinkling like stars in the night, Arya felt a deep sense of fulfillment and determination. The final stand had been their greatest test, but they had emerged stronger and more united. With the heart of the dragon and the Codex of Drakara guiding them, and their bond stronger than ever, Arya and the outcasts knew that they could face any challenge that lay ahead. United in their mission and driven by hope, they were ready to build a future where humans and Dragonborn could coexist in harmony, fulfilling the prophecy and ensuring lasting peace for all. The battle for Drakenvale had been won, and the city now basked in the glow of its hard-earned peace. Arya and the outcasts, along with their allies, had faced the ultimate test and emerged victorious. Yet, as they celebrated their triumph, they knew their work was far from over. The future they had fought for required ongoing dedication and effort to ensure its continued prosperity. In the days following the battle, the city began to rebuild. The streets were filled with people working together, 
repairing damaged buildings and fortifying defences. The atmosphere was one of unity and determination, a testament to the strength of their bond. One morning, as the outcasts gathered in their safe house, Lady Seraphine arrived with important news. The Council has decided to hold a summit to discuss the future of Drakenvale and ensure the stability of our alliance. Leaders from both human and dragonborn communities, as well as representatives from neighbouring regions, will attend. Arya felt a surge of excitement and responsibility. This summit is a crucial step in solidifying our vision. We need to ensure that the peace we've fought for is lasting and inclusive. Thorn, ever the protector, added, We'll need to address any lingering tensions and ensure that everyone feels represented and valued. Lyra nodded. I'll work on organizing healing and support sessions. Many people are still recovering from the battle and we need to ensure their well-being. Kellen, always the SCO, La, suggested, we should present the wisdom of the Codex of Dracara and the lessons we've learned. It will help guide our discussions and provide a framework for our future. Marek, pragmatic as ever, said, I'll gather intelligence on any potential threats or dissenters who might try to disrupt the summit. We need to be prepared for any eventuality. As they prepared for the summit, the outcasts and their allies worked tirelessly to ensure its success. The central plaza, where the heart of the dragon had been placed during the rite of unification, was transformed into a grand meeting hall, adorned with symbols of both human and dragonborn cultures. On the day of the summit, leaders and representatives from across the region gathered in Drakenvale. The atmosphere was charged with anticipation and hope, as people from different backgrounds and walks of life came together to shape their shared future. Arya stood before the assembled crowd, her voice steady and filled with conviction. Welcome to the summit. We have come together today to build on the foundation we have laid and to ensure that our vision of unity and peace endures. This is a new beginning, and it is up to us to shape it with wisdom, compassion, and determination. The summit began with presentations from various leaders, sharing their experiences and insights. Arya and Kellen presented the wisdom of the Codex of Drakara, emphasizing the importance of unity, cooperation, and mutual respect. Lady Seraphine and Captain Alaric spoke about the importance of security and the need for ongoing vigilance. Thorn led a discussion on defense and preparedness, ensuring that the city would remain safe from any future threats. Lyra organized healing and support sessions, providing care and comfort to those still affected by the recent battle. Marek, using his extensive network of contacts, gathered information on potential threats and dissenters. His efforts ensured that any disruptions were quickly addressed, allowing the summit to proceed smoothly. As the summit progressed, the discussions turned to the future. Leaders and representatives debated policies and initiatives that would promote economic cooperation, cultural exchange, and social harmony. They worked together to draft a charter that would guide their alliance and ensure that all voices were heard. One of the key proposals was the establishment of a Council of Elders, composed of respected leaders from both human and dragonborn communities. This council would oversee the implementation of the summit's decisions and ensure that the principles of unity and cooperation were upheld. After days of intense discussions and negotiations, the summit concluded with the signing of the Charter of Unity. The Charter outlined their shared vision and commitment to peace, cooperation, and mutual respect. It was a historic moment, marking the dawn of a new era for Drakenvale and the surrounding regions. As the crowd cheered and celebrated, Arya felt a deep sense of fulfillment and hope. The journey had been long and challenging, but they had achieved something truly remarkable. The future they had envisioned was now within reach, and they were ready to continue building it together. In the days following the summit, the city of Drakenval continued to thrive. The Council of Elders began its work, implementing the policies and initiatives agreed upon at the summit. The people of Drakenval, inspired by their leaders and the outcasts, embraced the spirit of unity and cooperation. One evening, as the outcasts gathered in the central plaza, Aria reflected on their journey. We've come so far and achieved so much, but our work is not over. We must continue to nurture and protect the unity we've built 
and ensure that it endures for generations to come. Thorn, his expression filled with pride, nodded. We've proven that together, we can overcome any challenge. Our bond is our greatest strength. Lyra, her eyes shining with hope, added, We've healed many wounds, but there will always be more to mend. We must continue to care for each other and our community. Marek, ever the pragmatist, said, We'll stay vigilant and prepared. The world is unpredictable, and we must be ready for whatever comes. Kellen, his scholarly mind always seeking knowledge, added, The heart of the dragon and the Codex of Dracara will continue to guide us. We must keep learning and growing. As they looked out over the city, the lights twinkling like stars in the night, Arya felt a deep sense of fulfillment and determination. The dawn of a new era had begun, and with it came the promise of a brighter, more united future for all. With the heart of the dragon and the Codex of Dracara guiding them, and their bond stronger than ever, Arya and the outcasts knew that they could face any challenge that lay ahead. United in their mission and driven by hope, they were ready to build a future where humans and dragonborn could coexist in harmony, fulfilling the prophecy and ensuring lasting peace for all. As the new era of unity and cooperation began to flourish in Drakenvale, the city experienced unprecedented growth and prosperity. However, the outcasts remained vigilant, knowing that the peace they had fought for required constant protection. While the surface of their society shimmered with harmony, a hidden threat began to stir beneath. One evening, Marek approached Arya with a grave expression. I've received disturbing reports from my contacts. There are whispers of a hidden faction, remnants of the Shadowscale Syndicate, that have gone underground. They're gathering strength, planning to disrupt the peace we've established. Arya's eyes narrowed with concern. We can't allow them to undermine everything we've worked for. We need to find and stop them before they can cause any harm. Thorn, ever the protector, said, we'll need to gather intelligence and infiltrate their ranks. If we can understand their plans, we can counter them effectively. Lyra, her compassionate nature evident, added, and we must ensure the safety and well-being of our people. Fear and unrest can spread quickly if this threat becomes known. Kellen, always the strategist, suggested, we should use the wisdom of the Codex of Dracara and the Heart of the Dragon to guide us. There may be insights or rituals that can help us uncover and neutralize this hidden threat. Marek, pragmatic and resourceful, said, I'll work on establishing a network of informants and gather as much information as possible. We'll need to move quickly and decisively. As they planned their strategy, Arya felt a renewed sense of determination. The peace they had built was precious, and they would do whatever it took to protect it. The outcasts divided their efforts, each member focusing on their strengths to address the emerging threat. Marek set out to establish his network of informants, using his extensive contacts to gather intelligence on the hidden faction. He moved through the shadows, meeting with allies and uncovering clues about the faction's movements and plans. Thorn and Kellen worked together to analyze the information Marek gathered. They identified key locations and individuals associated with the faction, developing a strategy to infiltrate and dismantle their operations. Lyra focused on maintaining the morale and well-being of the city's inhabitants. She organized community gatherings and healing sessions, ensuring that the people of Drakenvale remained united and resilient in the face of potential threats. Arya, guided by the heart of the dragon and the wisdom of the Codex of Dracara, sought insights and rituals that could aid their mission. She spent long hours studying ancient texts and meditating on the heart's power, seeking guidance for the challenges ahead. As the weeks passed, Marek's network provided critical informer tie-in that led the outcasts to the hidden faction's base of operations, an abandoned fortress deep in the mountains. The fortress was heavily guarded, and the faction had fortified it with powerful enchantments and traps. Arya gathered the outcasts and their allies to discuss their plan. We need to move quickly and strike decisively. Our goal is to neutralize the faction's leaders and dismantle their operations. We'll need to be careful and coordinated. Thorn outlined their strategy. We'll divide into teams. Marek and I will lead the infiltration, taking out key targets and disabling their defenses. 
Arya and Kellen will use the heart's power to counter their enchantments and provide support. Lyra will be on standby to tend to any injuries and provide healing as needed. The night before the operation, Arya led a ceremony to strengthen their resolve and unity. They gathered around the heart of the dragon, its radiant glow filling them with a sense of purpose and determination. We faced many challenges together, Arya said, her voice filled with conviction. And we've always emerged stronger. This threat is no different. We fight to protect our future, our people, and the peace we've built. Together, we will succeed. The outcasts and their allies set out for the fortress under the cover of darkness. The journey through the mountains was treacherous, but their determination kept them focused. As they approached the fortress, they split into their designated teams and prepared to strike. Marek and Thorn led the infiltration, moving silently through the shadows and disabling guards with precision. They used their knowledge of the fortress's layout to navigate its defenses and reach the faction's leaders. Arya and Kellen, guided by the heart's power, focused on countering the enchantments that protected the fortress. They chanted ancient spells and harnessed the heart's energy, unraveling the magical defenses that shielded the faction's operations. Lyra, stationed at a secure location nearby, prepared to provide healing and support. She kept in constant communication with the teams, ready to move in at a moment's notice. As Marek and Thorn reached the central chamber of the fortress, they confronted the faction's leaders, a group of powerful sorcerers and warriors who had sworn to undermine Drakenvale's unity. The confrontation was intense, but Marek and Thorn's skill and coordination gave them the upper hand. At the same time, Arya and Kellen's efforts to dismantle the enchantments bore fruit. The magical defenses crumbled, leaving the fortress vulnerable and disorienting the faction's forces. With their defenses down and their leaders overpowered, the faction's resistance quickly fell apart. The outcasts and their allies moved swiftly to secure the fortress, capturing key members and dismantling their operations. As the dust settled, the outcasts gathered in the central chamber. The threat had been neutralized, and the hidden faction was no more. They had protected the peace and unity they had fought so hard to achieve. Arya, her heart filled with relief and pride, addressed her friends. We've once again proven that our unity is our greatest strength. The threats we face may change, but as long as we stand together, we can overcome anything. Thorn, his expression softened with pride, nodded. We've faced many challenges, and we've emerged stronger every time. Our bond is unbreakable. Lyra, her eyes shining with hope, added, We've healed many wounds, and we will continue to care for each other and our community. Marek, ever pragmatic, said, We'll stay vigilant and prepared. The world is unpredictable, but we are ready. Kellen, his scholarly mind always seeking knowledge, added, The heart of the dragon and the Codex of Drakara will continue to guide us. We must keep learning and growing. As they looked out over the city of Drakenvale, the lights twinkling like stars in the night, Arya felt a deep sense of fulfillment and determination. The hidden threat had been vanquished, and their unity had been strengthened once more. With the heart of the dragon and the Codex of Drakara guiding them, and their bond stronger than ever, Arya and the outcasts knew that they could face any challenge that lay ahead. United in their mission, and driven by hope, they were ready to build a future where humans and dragonborn could coexist in harmony, fulfilling the prophecy and ensuring lasting peace for all. With the hidden faction neutralized and peace restored to Drakenvale, Arya and the outcasts focused on fortifying their progress and nurturing the newfound unity between humans and dragonborn. However, an even greater challenge loomed on the horizon, one that would test their strength and resolve like never before. One evening, as Arya and her friends gathered to discuss their ongoing efforts, a messenger arrived with urgent news. A powerful force has been detected near the eastern borders, the messenger reported. It seems that an ancient enemy has returned, the dark dragon Malakar. Arya's heart sank. Malakar was a name spoken of only in hushed tones, a dragon of immense power and malice who had once threatened the world with destruction. Long thought to be vanquished, his return signaled a dire threat to everything they had built. Thorn clenched his fists, his expression grim. If Malakar has returned, 
we face a threat unlike any we've ever encountered. We need to prepare for the worst. Kellen, his scholarly mind racing, said, The Codex of Drakara might have information on how to defeat Malakar. We need to study it thoroughly and find any weaknesses we can exploit. Lyra, ever the healer, added, We'll need to ensure that our people are protected and ready to withstand this new threat. Their morale and well-being are crucial. Marek, always the pragmatist, said, I'll work on gathering intelligence about Malakar's movements and any allies he might have. We need to know what we're up against. As they prepared for the impending battle, Arya couldn't shake the feeling of dread that had settled over her. Malakar was a force of pure destruction, and defeating him would require all their strength and unity. The outcasts spent long hours studying the Codex of Drakara, searching for any clues or strategies that could help them. They found references to an ancient ritual known as the Dragon's Bane, a powerful spell designed to weaken and ultimately defeat a dark dragon. However, the ritual required the combined power of multiple dragonborn and the heart of the dragon. Arya gathered her friends and allies to discuss their plan. We need to perform the Dragon's Bane ritual to weaken Malakar, but it won't be easy. We'll need the support of the entire Dragonborn community, and we must act quickly. Thorn nodded, his expression resolute. We'll reach out to the Dragonborn elders and rally their support. This is a fight for our very existence. Lyra added, I'll work on preparing the necessary supplies and ensuring that everyone is ready for the ritual. We need to be at our best. Marek, ever resourceful, said, I'll continue to gather intelligence and monitor Malakar's movements. We need to know when and where he'll strike. With their plan set, the outcasts reached out to the Dragonborn elders, explaining the gravity of the situation and the need for their support. The elders, understanding the threat posed by Malakar, agreed to lend their strength to the ritual. As the day of the ritual approached, the atmosphere in Drakenvale was tense but determined. The people of the city, both human and dragonborn, understood the stakes and were ready to stand together against the ancient enemy. The ritual site was chosen, a sacred valley surrounded by towering cliffs, where the power of the heart of the dragon would be amplified. The outcasts and the dragonborn, elders gathered there, their hearts filled with resolve. Arya stood at the center of the ritual circle, the heart of the dragon glowing in her hands. We stand here today, to protect our future and defeat the darkness that threatens us. Together, we will perform the Dragon's Bane and ensure that Malakar is vanquished once and for all. The Dragonborn elders began to chant the ancient words of the ritual, their voices resonating with power. The heart of the dragon pulsed with energy, its light growing brighter as the ritual progressed. As the ritual reached its climax, a dark shadow fell over the valley. Malakar had arrived, his massive form blocking out the sun. His eyes gleamed with malice as he descended, ready to unleash his fury on those who dared to defy him. The outcasts and the dragonborn elders focused their energy, channeling the power of the heart of the dragon into the ritual. A beam of radiant light shot forth from the heart, striking Malakar and enveloping him in its glow. Malakar roared in fury, his dark magic clashing with the light of the ritual. The ground shook, and the air crackled with energy, as the two forces battled for dominance. Arya, her voice filled with determination, cried out, We fight for our future, for our unity, and for the light that guides us. Malakar, you will not prevail. With a final, desperate effort, the combined power of the ritual and the heart of the dragon overwhelmed Malakar's dark magic. The ancient dragon let out a deafening roar as his form began to disintegrate, consumed by the light of the dragon's bane. As the last remnants of Malakar faded into nothingness, a profound silence settled over the valley. The battle was over, and the ancient enemy had been defeated. The outcasts and the dragonborn elders, exhausted but victorious, stood together in the aftermath of the battle. They had faced their greatest challenge and emerged triumphant, their bond stronger than ever. Arya, her heart filled with pride and relief, addressed her friends and allies. We've done it. We've protected our future and ensured that the light of unity and peace will continue to shine. Our journey is far from over, but we have proven that together we can overcome any darkness. Thorn, his expression softened with pride, nodded. We've faced the greatest of challenges, and we've emerged stronger. 
our bond is unbreakable. Lyra, her eyes shining with hope, added, We've healed many wounds, and we will continue to care for each other and our community. Marek, ever pragmatic, said, We'll stay vigilant and prepared. The world is unpredictable, but we are ready. Kellen, his scholarly mind always seeking knowledge, added, The heart of the dragon and the Codex of Dracara will continue to guide us. We must keep learning and growing. As they looked out over the valley, the lights of Dracon Val twinkling in the distance, Arya felt a deep sense of fulfillment and determination. The return of the ancient enemy had been a formidable challenge, but their unity had prevailed. With the heart of the dragon and the Codex of Dracara guiding them, and their bonds stronger than ever, Arya and the outcasts knew that they could face any challenge that lay ahead. United in their mission and driven by hope, they were ready to build a future where humans and dragonborn could coexist in harmony, fulfilling the prophecy and ensuring lasting peace for all. The defeat of Malachar brought a wave of relief and celebration to Drakenvale. The city, now safe from the ancient dragon's threat, began to rebuild and strengthen its bonds further. However, Arya and the outcasts knew that their journey was not yet complete. The prophecy still had more to reveal, and they felt that the final pieces of their quest lay in understanding the deeper wisdom of their ancestors. One evening, as they gathered in the central plaza, illuminated by the glow of the heart of the dragon, Kellen, a pro, ched Arya with a thoughtful expression. Arya, I've been thinking about the visions we've experienced and the guidance we've received from the Codex of Dracara. I believe there is one more place we need to visit, the Sanctuary of the Ancestors. Arya's eyes widened with realization. The Sanctuary of the Ancestors, of course, it's said to be a place where the spirits of our forebears reside, offering their wisdom and guidance to those who seek it. It could hold the final pieces of the prophecy and help us fully understand our mission. Thorn nodded. We should prepare for the journey. The sanctuary is located in the heart of the Whispering Woods, a place known for its mystical properties and hidden dangers. Lyra added, I'll gather supplies and ensure we have everything we need for the journey. The Whispering Woods can be unpredictable, and we need to be ready for anything. Marek, ever the pragmatist, said, I'll use my contacts to gather information about the woods and any potential threats we might encounter. We need to be prepared for whatever lies ahead. As they prepared for their journey, the outcasts felt a mix of anticipation and determination. The Sanctuary of the Ancestors represented the culmination of their quest, a place where they could gain the final insights needed to fulfill the prophecy. The next morning, they set out for the Whispering Woods, guided by the light of the Heart of the Dragon. The woods were dense and filled with an ethereal mist, the air thick with the scent of ancient magic. The trees seemed to whisper secrets as they moved through the forest, their branches swaying gently in the breeze. As they ventured deeper into the woods, they encountered various challenges, enchanted creatures, shifting landscapes, and illusions meant to deter intruders. But their unity and determination saw them through each obstacle. Thorn and Marek led the way, ensuring their safety, while Lyra and Kellen provided support and guidance. After several days of travel, they finally reached the Sanctuary of the Ancestors, a serene clearing surrounded by towering trees and bathed in a soft, golden light. At the center of the clearing stood a circle of ancient stones, each inscribed with runes and symbols of the Dragonborn. Arya approached the stones with reverence, feeling a deep connection to the spirits of her ancestors. This is the place. We need to open our hearts and minds to the wisdom of the past. The outcasts formed a circle around the stones, each placing their hands on the inscribed runes. As they did, the runes began to glow, and a warm, soothing energy enveloped them. The air filled with a gentle hum, and the spirits of the ancestors appeared before them, ethereal figures radiating wisdom and serenity. One of the spirits, an elder dragonborn named Eldara, stepped forward. Welcome, Arya and friends. We have been watching your journey and are proud of the unity and strength you have shown. The prophecy is a guide, but it is your actions that will shape the future. Arya bowed respectfully. We seek your guidance, Eldara. We have faced many challenges and have come far, but we know there is still more to understand. Eldara nodded. 
the prophecy speaks of a time when humans and dragonborn will unite to bring about a new era of peace and prosperity. You have taken great strides toward this goal, but there is one final task you must complete. You must perform the Rite of Legacy, a ceremony that will solidify the bond between your communities and ensure the prophecy's fulfillment. Kellen, his scholarly mind curious, asked, What does the Rite of Legacy entail? Eldar explained, The Rite of Legacy requires representatives from both humans and Dragonborn to come together and share their stories, their hopes, and their dreams. It is a celebration of your unity and a commitment to the future. The ceremony must be held in the presence of the heart of the dragon, which will amplify your intentions and solidify your bond. Lyra, her eyes filled with determination, said, We'll ensure that everyone understands the significance of the rite and is prepared to participate. This ceremony will be a testament to our shared vision. Thorne added, We'll protect the ceremony and ensure that it proceeds without any disruptions. Our bond is our greatest strength. Marek, ever practical, said, I'll work on coordinating the logistics and ensuring that all representatives are present and ready. We need to make this ceremony a success. With the guidance of the ancestors, the outcasts returned to Drakenvale, their hearts filled with a renewed sense of purpose. They shared their findings with the council and began preparations for the rite of legacy. The central plaza, where the heart of the dragon was enshrined, was chosen as the site for the ceremony. The day of the ceremony arrived, and representatives from all corners of Drakenvale gathered in the central plaza. The atmosphere was charged with anticipation and hope, as people from different backgrounds and walks of life came together to celebrate their unity and commitment to the future. Arya stood before the gathered crowd, her voice steady and filled with conviction. Today, we come together to perform the Rite of Legacy. This ceremony is a celebration of our unity and a commitment to the future we envision. Together, we will solidify our bond and ensure that the prophecy of peace and prosperity becomes a reality. The representatives formed a circle around the heart of the dragon, each sharing their stories, their hopes, and their dreams. As they spoke, the heart of the dragon glowed brighter, its light filling the plaza and enveloping everyone in its warmth. The ceremony reached its climax, and Arya, holding the heart of the dragon, led the final chant. We stand united, committed to a future of peace and harmony. Our bond is unbreakable, and our vision is clear. Together, we will fulfill the prophecy and ensure a lasting legacy for all. As the final words of the chant echoed through the plaza, a radiant light burst forth from the heart of the dragon, enveloping everyone in its glow. The energy of the ceremony solidified their bond, and the rite of legacy was complete. The crowd erupted in cheers, their voices a powerful chorus of hope and determination. The ceremony had been a resounding success, a testament to their unity and commitment to the future. Arya, her heart filled with pride and hope, addressed the crowd once more. Today, we have taken a monumental step towards fulfilling the prophecy and ensuring a future of unity and peace. Our journey is far from over, but together we can achieve anything. As the celebrations continued, Arya and the outcasts knew that their mission was not yet complete, but they had taken a significant step towards securing the future they envisioned. With the guidance of the ancestors and the strength of their bond, they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. United in their mission and driven by hope, Arya and the outcasts knew that they could face any challenge that lay ahead. With the heart of the dragon and the Codex of Drakara guiding them, and their bond stronger than ever, they were ready to build a future where humans and dragonborn could coexist in harmony, fulfilling the prophecy and ensuring lasting peace for all. The Rite of Legacy had solidified the unity between humans and dragonborn, bringing about a profound sense of hope and determination throughout Drakenvale. However, Arya and the outcasts understood that their journey was far from over. The true test of their vision would be in maintaining and nurturing the peace they had worked so hard to establish. In the days following the ceremony, Arya found herself reflecting on the journey they had undertaken. She knew that the heart of the dragon and the wisdom of the ancestors had guided them, bore. It was the strength of their bond and their commitment to each other that had brought them to this point. One evening, 
as the outcasts gathered in their safe house. Kellen spoke up. I've been studying the Codex of Dracara further, and I've discovered one final ritual that could ensure our bond and the peace we've built endures for generations. It's called the Eternal Flame. Arya listened intently. What is the Eternal Flame, Kellen? Kellen explained. The Eternal Flame is a powerful ritual that symbolizes the everlasting bond between humans and Dragonborn. It requires us to ignite a flame using the heart of the dragon, a flame that will burn perpetually as a beacon of hope and unity. This flame will serve as a constant reminder of our commitment to peace and harmony. Thorne nodded thoughtfully. If we can perform this ritual, it will be a lasting symbol of our vision and a source of inspiration for future generations. Lyra, her eyes filled with determination, said, I'll prepare the necessary components for the ritual and ensure that everyone understands its significance. Marek, ever pragmatic, added, I'll work on organizing the event and coordinating with our allies. We need to make this a momentous occasion. With their plan set, the outcasts began preparations for the Eternal Flame Ceremony. The central plaza, where the heart of the dragon was enshrined, was chosen as the site for the ritual. Invitations were sent out to all corners of Drakenvale and beyond, inviting people to witness and participate in the historic event. The day of the ceremony arrived, and the central plaza was filled with people from all walks of life, their faces reflecting anticipation and hope. The atmosphere was electric, charged with the energy of unity and shared purpose. Arya stood before the gathered crowd, holding the heart of the dragon. Today, we come together to ignite the eternal flame, a symbol of our everlasting bond and our commitment to peace and harmony. This flame will burn as a beacon of hope, guiding us and future generations towards a brighter future. The outcasts formed a circle around the heart of the dragon, their hands linked in unity. Kellen began to chant the ancient words of the ritual, his voice resonating with power. The heart of the dragon glowed brightly, its light intensifying as the ritual progressed. As the final words of the chant echoed through the plaza, Arya raised the heart of the dragon high above her head. A beam of radiant light shot forth from the heart, striking a large ceremonial brazier at the center of the plaza. The brazier ignited, and a brilliant flame sprang to life its light filling the plaza and illuminating the faces of the gathered crowd. The eternal flame burned brightly, its warmth and light a tangible representation of their unity and commitment. The crowd erupted in cheers, their voices a powerful chorus of hope and determination. Arya, her heart filled with pride and hope, addressed the crowd once more. The eternal flame symbolizes our everlasting bond and our commitment to the future. It will burn as a beacon of hope, guiding us and future generations towards a brighter, more united future. Together, we will ensure that the prophecy of peace and harmony becomes a reality. As the celebrations continued, the eternal flame burned brightly in the central plaza, a constant reminder of their unity and shared vision. The people of Drakenvale, inspired by the outcasts and the heart of the dragon, embraced the spirit of the eternal flame and worked together to build a future of peace and harmony. In the days and weeks that followed, the city of Drakenval continued to thrive. The Council of Elders, guided by the wisdom of the Codex of Drakara and the light of the Eternal Flame, implemented policies and initiatives that promoted cooperation, understanding, and mutual respect. Arya, Thorn, Lyra, Marek, and Kellen, now seen as heroes and lead, Urs, continued to guide and support their community. They understood that their journey was an ongoing one requiring constant dedication and effort. But with the eternal flame burning brightly, they felt a deep sense of fulfillment and determination. One evening, as the outcasts gathered in the central plaza, gazing at the eternal flame, Arya reflected on their journey. We've come so far and achieved so much, but our work is never truly done. We must continue to nurture and protect the unity we've built and ensure that it endures for generations to come. Thorn, his expression filled with pride, nodded. We've proven that together, we can overcome any challenge. Our bond is unbreakable and our vision is clear. Lyra, her eyes shining with hope, added, We've healed many wounds and will continue to care for each other and our community. The eternal flame will guide us. Marek, ever pragmatic, said, We'll stay vigilant and prepared. The world is unpredictable, 
but we are ready for whatever comes. Kellen, his scholarly mind always seeking knowledge, added, the heart of the dragon and the codex of Drakara will continue to guide us. We must keep learning and growing together. As they looked out over the city of Drakenvale, the lights twinkling like stars in the night, Arya felt a deep sense of fulfillment and determination. The eternal flame was a powerful symbol of their unity and commitment, a beacon of hope that would guide them into the future. With the heart of the dragon and the Codex of Drakara guiding them, and their bond stronger than ever, Arya and the outcasts knew that they could face any challenge that lay ahead. United in their mission and driven by hope, they were ready to build a future where humans and dragonborn could coexist in harmony, fulfilling the prophecy and ensuring lasting peace for all.